Well, hello, hello, and welcome to another lesson of the Focus on Graph CMS course. I am Marcelo Lewin, the Headless Creator. As always, there is my email. Feel free to reach out to me, marcelo at headlesscreator.com with any questions, comments, feedback, ideas you may have, whatever you want, reach out to me. I'll get back to you within 24 hours, plus or minus. Uh, today, uh, my guest presenter is Kelly Landry, and you're going to learn a lot more about her but she's a self-taught developer and she's going to show us how to create a blog using the graph cms rich text render and you're going to learn all about that and how to use it i believe it's with next.js so um, it's going to be a really cool lesson uh, but before we get started you know how this goes i'm going to go ahead and uh, tell you real quick about headlesscreator.com uh, you know what it is you learn everything about headless CMSs and, of course, content modeling, which, you know, I'm very passionate about. So please go get an, uh, an account. Get It's free. You'll have access to not only uh, the Focus on Graph CMS course in this lesson, which will appear on demand probably in about an hour after we're done, but you'll have access to pretty much all the courses, including the content modeling weekly course, which I'm a huge fan of content modeling, and I model something new every week. Uh, a whole bunch of focus on uh, courses and then discover headless tech course where basically you get to discover a really cool technology through tutorials and also a podcast interview so if you haven't please go ahead and get a free account i'm trying to reach a thousand registered users by the end of the year i'm on track actually to do it hopefully by the end of october that means i may hit 1200 users so i may have to raise that goal a bit uh, but anyway, uh, if you already have an account, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right. You know how it works. Uh, for those of you that come here every week, you know how this goes. I'm going to uh, restart the intro because uh, the on-demand version has absolutely no marketing. We will jump right into the interview and end the, the lesson. So I will see you all in just 10 seconds. Well, hello, hello, and welcome to another lesson of the Focus on Graph CMS course. I am Marcelo Lewin, the Headless Creator. As always, get a hold of me right there, Marcelo at headlesscreator.com. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, uh, any ideas, just reach out to me. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Today, we're going to learn all about the uh, Graph CMS rich text renderer. What is it? Uh, why do you want to use it? And how do you create a blog with it? Um, and that will be presented by Kelly Landry. Uh, she's a self-taught developer, and that's all I'm going to tell you about her. You know why? Because I'm actually going to bring her in. Kelly. Hi. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> How are you? Good. Um, as requested, good morning. There you go. <laughs> that's right. I did morning. request that, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's one of my favorite movies, and I, I'm, I'm a huge Robin Williams fan. For those of Same. you that you don't know what we're talking about here is <laughs> Kelly posted something on Slack in, in, in the Robin Williams voice, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, definitely. A great talent. Um, so, well, we already learned something personal about you. You're a Robin Williams fan. I love that already. Yeah, yeah. Love so, him. I know, I know. So, uh, first time presenter here. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. But not not last time, right? No, no, <laughs> definitely not. not last time. Uh, so, uh, let's talk. You have an interesting background. Um, I always like to learn a little about our presenters. Um, you didn't start out as a as a developer. Uh, so, tell us a little bit about your background and how did you make the switch to developer? Yeah, um, I actually was a social worker for uh, about three or four years. That's what my formal degree is in. And I just kind of was a walk on into this startup out of Louisiana where I live. And uh, they were doing food delivery and that was pretty new to the area. So I just started driving just to do something different. I was definitely burnt out with social work. Um, and after that, I just kind of kept saying yes to whatever they wanted to present to me. It was, hey, do you want to be our interim director of IT? Yes. Do you want to do some customer service? Yes. And then it was, hey, do you want to test our apps full time because they didn't have any dedicated person? And I just got more curious and I wanted to build instead of, uh, you know, testing kind of the same things over and over again. And I just kind of jumped in from there. So 
yeah, that's, I guess, the the short story of how I got into this. I, I love it because you literally just, it didn't matter what it was, you tried it, right? And figured out, oh, yeah. is this my passion or not? And it sounds like you found your passion. Yes. And social work, we have some friends that are into that. It's it's hard work. It's Very it's emotionally draining. Yes. Yeah, yes. definitely. Well, definitely. I'm glad you found your calling and your passion. Yeah. Um, I'm sure everybody else is. Um, I'm gonna end it with uh, another personal question since we already found out. Since mm -hmm. obviously you said Robin Williams, mm -hmm. um, do you have a favorite Robin Williams movie or show? I yeah. mean, if you, if you go way back. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of people. Uh, you know they know about the Mork and Mindy, you know, TV show, but I got introduced to him from as a kid looking at Mrs. Doubtfire. That was okay. kind of my first great dive movie. into. Yeah. And I, I just, I loved it. I thought he was hilarious. And the, I mean, the impressions, if, if you're at all a fan of Robin Williams, the impressions are just spot Not on. Not just and, that, but he's so he's improv. I mean, a lot of, yeah. a lot of that movie is improv. It's not in the script. Yeah, looking into his life, you He's can see just, yeah, just absolute genius. So I've just, yeah, that hit, you know, that hit me hard hearing about him. Yeah. And oh, so when I heard, yeah. It, yeah. So I, uh, but I've been a fan of, I mean, I still, I still continue to watch um, a lot of his movies. So yeah. Awesome. Love Great. Did you ever watch Mork and Mindy? I, you know, that's on my list. I haven't you gotta gotten watch it. to it. Yeah. It's gotta I be on Netflix wanna... or somewhere out there or it's YouTube. Stuff. I'm sure you'll find it on YouTube. Yeah, but you know what? People are internet. probably confused now because they go, wait, I thought we were talking about Graf CMS. Why are you talking about Mork and Mindy? <laughs> Who's Mork and Mindy? So we'll stop doing that. I'm going to go ahead and share your screen okay. so we can get started. Um, if any of you have any questions, type them in the chat, put them in there. I'll, uh, Kelly, I'll ask you during the presentation if there are any questions. I know I'll have some questions, but for now, I'm going to go on mute and it's all yours. Cool. Well, thank you so much. Um, so like any project, we're going to do some basic setup. And, uh, you know, for, this is built using Next. So uh, this isn't a deep dive into the Next uh, framework, but uh, just, a, just a little overview of getting started. Uh, you want to start off with doing your Create Next app. And if you want to look into the documentation, they have pretty great documentation. And, you know, whatever your flavor is, MPX or Yarn, um, you know, some manual setup, but, you know, they give you a really good rundown of what to do to get started. The next thing is if you have a graph CMS account, which I'm sure a lot of you do, you're going to want to make a new project. Now, one thing that I will say that has been really nice is they have a blog starter for you. So they have, so graph CMS do, does a huge favor for everybody. And if you want to create a blog, they have pre-made uh, schemas and fields. And so I'm not gonna create one right now, but I'm just gonna show you that basic layout. So as you can see, they give you an author with all your schemas and fields. And then the post is really where we're gonna live. And you know we have our title, our slug, our date, and so we have our content, which is our rich text. And you can add these fields in this, you know, this uh, sidebar right here. So you can add whatever you want, which is a really great thing about Graph CMS. You can customize this. But for the sake of this tutorial and for making a blog, I really like that they had everything pre-made. So the next thing that you're going to need is a couple of required packages to hook up everything to use the rich text renderer. And the first required package, again, NPM or yarn, whatever flavor you want to pick, uh, you're going to do, you really want to get a GraphQL client. So the GraphQL request, and we're going to pull up that documentation. This is pretty lightweight. Um, I really like it because it's, you know, if you if you're writing in React or Next, you're probably used to Apollo or Relay as your client, but this is pretty lightweight and you're only getting, um, you only want to pull in that GraphQL client. And we're going to dive into the code a little bit later. Um, another little sidebar here with especially this, and I think they actually laid this out in the documentation, they, you might have to install the GraphQL package because the a TypeScript, it, 
they have a dependency. So it, your project, it, it really depends. Some, my project was having issues without that GraphQL dependency. Yours might not, but it's always a good idea to install it. And the next one obviously is the meat and potatoes of the whole presentation here is your rich text React renderer. And we're gonna get a little bit deeper into the documentation here in a second. But again, nothing new here. You install it and then we'll grab the rich text from the package and then we'll go from there. And let me go back here. Another thing optionally, you can install a CSS and JS package. What is that necessarily? You know, we're always used to our raw CSS. Um, I know Next is very good about using CSS modules, which again, looks like your very run of the mill CSS. I'm going to use style components in this demo just because that's what I'm familiar with. So this is the documentation for that. Again, this isn't a tutorial on style components, but I just wanted to give you a little rundown of what it looks like. They pull in a styled uh, tag here and you take in your HTML element and you can display it as such. So, and you can use things like emotion or you can even do some SAS or SCSS. So whatever it is that you want, whatever is preferable for you, I'm just more comfortable with this. So I just wanted to put that out there. And the last thing that you need for this setup is gonna be your content API key from GraphCMS. Um, since that is private for me, you can find it in your home whenever you go to your settings. So your settings are right here. And whenever you click that, you'll see it under your, con it'll say content API key. So it's very intuitive. So moving on. A little side note, uh, I mentioned this before to install the GraphQL, uh, the GraphQL package since uh, there's a type in uh, the GraphQL request that depends on GraphQL. So again, you may or may not have to install it. The next thing I wanted to point out, and it's just some gotchas, because I'm, I'm sure if there's any React developers in here, Next developers, or just JavaScript in general, um, config is big and you don't want to, you know, miss out on those things. And sometimes it's really nice to have somebody say, Hey, you know, there's some things you might want to do before because, uh, your project might be failing or erroring out. So in your next.config file, um, and I took a little snippet of mine just so we can have a good look at what, what that actually looks like in your ENV object, I named mine custom key. You're going to want to put that content API in there and I just blacked out for the key here, but just make sure that you have that. And that is in the documentation um, for uh, the, I'm pretty sure GraphCMS lays that out in their documentation. And then for the images, this is, this is really important because a blog without images, you know, can be pretty boring. So you want to definitely put images, but just make sure that you have this media.graphcms.com in your domains within the images object because your images just won't show up. It'll have that little icon that we're used to seeing that it just says, oh, hey, there's an image here, but it's not gonna render. So just make sure that you have those domains in there um, just to, you know, just as a side note. And then also, obviously, again, if you're familiar with Next or React projects, put 